Hey, it's Lloyd Tech of Coverall Auto Restoration. And today I'm putting in a uh, outer wheel house on a 69Z28, original owner car. Someone back in the 80s, I'm guessing, did the body work on this and they patched up and made a mess of this uh, outer tub and the drop panel from the uh, trunk down but for today what I'm showing you is I cut these out this quarter panel was relatively new and in good shape so it didn't come off but getting these wheel houses in and out is a pain what I do is simply cut all this out through here with either a plasma cutter saw whatever you got and then peel the original lip away while removing the spot welds instead of trying to get it as one piece. So that's been done. It's spot welded back in which is always fun with aftermarket sheet metal but here as you can see I've started my seam cut. What I do is leave about an inch as you can see of uh, original panel on and then I just lay these over when this is done, you'll never know it wasn't factory. So we got good steel here, new steel here. This cut is to show you what a th uh, three inch uh, saw or disc will do. And this here is the view of a body saw. And as you can see, I've got a little sliver of steel from the new panel as it's cutting. So inside there's a piece of the original behind there that's falling away. Now as I go, and I prefer this here, I use my putty knife to level the panels and I'll put a spot weld there. I keep going in about every, well you have to cut about a five inch, four or five inch slot so you can get some give in the panel. But as you go, you level that panel and put a spot about every three or four inches because you don't want to get the panel too hot. So I'll go all the way around here like that until that panel is a perfect seam like you see here. And then at this point, you can TIG it, MIG it, whatever you're into. And uh, what I do is I'll spot about every two to three inches back and forth from front panel to back. And this works on any and all panels. I don't care if it's a patch in the side or... Uh, putting on a quarter panel skin. I'll spot here, keeping those cool. I'll have a blow gun ready to cool the spot welds as I go. And this putty knife will always be in there when I do the spot weld to keep that gap the same as we go all the way around. At that point, we're about two inches apart on each weld, and I use my MIG generally and uh stitch weld in between and then I'll blow that cool with uh, the blow gun and you uh, depending on how big a spot you'll do you will actually see the panel move a little because it'll expand from the heat of welding and then it'll contract again from the uh, cool down with the torch and this gives you relatively warp free uh, panels to work with on you know on a flat skin anyhow like a quarter panel or a patch like uh, that right here in the trunk that I did. Same thing, same procedure was done here and there's gonna be very little body filler work. This is all dang near perfectly smooth. So, you can always check my work out at coverallauto.com which leads you to cover all auto restoration.com site. And we've got several cars in there going on right now. And uh, this car, for example, you can follow along with all this work as it goes. But I, I've never really seen a very good video on this. You'll see videos of guys replacing the whole panels when there's good steel there and, and removing that seam with a quarter panel already on is is a nightmare but 
this this poor car had a, a rough life. It had several patches put in it from areas that generally rust out, but I don't replace whole pieces if I can help it. I like to save as much of the uh, original car as possible. Inside here, you can see we did, there was a floor that was put in, same system, same style. There's the weld, which I'm not gonna grind and smooth on this because it's under the carpet. And it's such a nice weld, I thought I'd leave it. And then the bottom side of that will get the little bit of filler work if it needs it before this goes to uh, epoxy and prime. So I hope that shows you a little bit about this. Uh, I'm not too good with the video, so... Go to my website and check out the pictures. It, it shows before, during, after of all this work and how it's done.